welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a lot on my to-do list and I just wanna get things really cleaned up through the house. We have a friend coming to visit this next week to stay with us for a few days and there's just a lot of odds and end things around. I wanna get the bedding washed and I even have a little project in the backyard that I'm gonna do um, in honor of Father's Day and it's kind of for Father's Day. It's a little surprise for Corey. He's out of town right now and so tomorrow he'll be coming home and he'll be able to see it all finished up and I think it's gonna turn out great also today's video is sponsored by Bellway I worked with them before and you all know that I am a huge advocate for healthy living just making sure that we're not eating too much sugar getting a balanced diet in is really important to me and it's also important that the members in my household have balanced diets as well through all of the cooking and recipes I share I think you all know that pretty well Bellway is a fiber that you can drink. I love that they have these convenient little packets. My favorite flavor is the raspberry lemon. It's recommended that we have about 30 grams of fiber a day and it would take around 10 salads just to get that amount of fiber in which is not most of us eat 10 salads in a day, right? Corey and I both take probiotic every single day to make sure that we have a healthy gut, but fiber and probiotic kind of go hand in hand. Probiotic and fiber both help with brain fog, energy, just keeping your system moving like it should. It really helps boost mood because whenever our gut isn't happy, generally we're not happy. You know, you feel down, you don't have the full on get up and go that we need to just keep our lives running smooth. Smoothly. I've had other fibers in the past that really have not tasted good. Um, it isn't, fiber is generally something that doesn't have the best flavor, but Bellway has accomplished making a really great drink that doesn't have an odd texture and it's easy to drink because it tastes good. You just mix it up in cold water and my favorite one, the raspberry lemon, just tastes like you're drinking raspberry lemonade. This prebiotic is gluten-free, vegan, and keto and paleo friendly. It also dissolves really quickly. I've said this before, but I don't work with brands unless I truly do like the product and there's even been times where I've had a brand that it just hasn't worked out because the quality it just isn't there. But one thing I also like about Bellway is it is organic and since this is the second time of me working with them, I've had time to obviously use their product and tell you that it works well. I do have a discount code in the description box for you to try out Bellway. These convenient little packets fit in our bags wherever we're going. You can mix them up quickly. Don't forget to check that out and let's go ahead and get started tackling the to-do list. The first thing I did was get my diffuser rolling in our bedroom because that's where I was going to be working first and I have been on a major kick of diffusing spearmint. I just love the smell of it. It's so fresh and clean and honestly it's a little nostalgic for me because my mom made a lot of garden tea growing up and it smelled like spearmint so it always reminds me of garden tea brewing in the house. This duvet cover has been so forgiving and I have taken so many stains out of it. I was using my Norwex stain remover, just put it on a spot that had gotten on there and it's done so well. I am thinking about getting a new one just because we've had that one for so long. And since I'll be doing a bedroom refresh soon, I may just go ahead and get a new one. I used my dusting mitt just to dust everything off and this past month I gave away three of those. I will let the winners names in the description box because I know you guys always ask who won the giveaways. Every month I give away some of my favorite cleaning products so be on the lookout for the next giveaway.
The weekend before this, I had went to the beach. My in-laws were here and we all had a really fun beach day. But if you look at the back of my neck, it is so burnt. My whole back was so burnt. It was the bathing suit I was wearing was a little different than the one I had before. And we were just in the sun all day. So that's why my neck is so red. And since I get the question every single time I show them of how I make my toilet bombs, I generally try to link the video that has the instructions in it below in the description box. So I will try to remember to do that. So I'm using my tub mitt. I used it in the tub and the shower. I absolutely love that thing. It does such a great job. And it eliminates me having to use a cup to rinse everything down every time. With us, it's all or right now, the world is a crazy, crazy place and I just uh, I've had so many days of just trying to process everything that's going on and I just keep coming back to the realization that God is so much bigger than everything that's happening and there is so much to be thankful for and I think that if we focus on those things and we focus on what we do have around us, um, it makes the world seem a little less scary and it makes me just realize how much God provides and gives us good things. So let me know in the comments what you're thankful for today and something that brings positivity and light into your life let's celebrate the good All right, I'm taking a little break from cleaning and I'm gonna come do some outside work. I just sprayed this all down with the hose, watered my ferns up here. My camera keeps wanting to fog up, so I'm sorry if it looks a little bit foggy. It'll adjust here in a second. But Corey is away out of town right now and I wanted to do a little surprise for him. So I put these stones here out to the middle of the yard and I'm gonna make a small fire ring out there and put some chairs. He loves having a fire and at our other house, we had a small fire ring. We just don't have one here. This all needs to be landscaped around the edge of this patio. So completely ignore that. That's another day, another project. But <laughs> this is what I'm gonna work on today. I'm gonna walk out here and show you guys um, what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I measured my string for where I want it to be and I actually measured it a little bit less than what it will end up being. Just because I'm gonna take this string and do a spray painted circle so I'm gonna have an exact circle before I put the stone and I'll show you each step. So I'm gonna take that spray paint, make a circle and then just take the top layer of grass off of the yard. Looking back on this footage, I really picked the worst time of day <laughs> to go out and do this. It was the middle of the day and it was about 90 degrees. 
So I definitely got my workout in for the day, just digging the grass up and getting it all leveled out. So the first thing I did is put some lava rock down. You could totally do this in the whole area, but it's something that resists heat. You always have to think about that whenever you're creating anything with fire is what resists heat and what can withstand heat. So I went ahead and used that in the middle, but I didn't really care for the red look. So I also got some chipped marble, which is the white rock that you're gonna see me putting in here. And that also withstands heat. That's why they make a lot of marble fireplaces because it does well with heat. So that's what I used on the outside and then used the lava rock on the inside. And by the way, this was a lot less expensive to make and do than buying a metal like fire bowl or anything like that because I had looked into that as well. And then I just added up what it would take to do the this with these materials. And it just was a lot cheaper to do it this way. Plus I actually liked the way this looked better than the metal like fire bowl idea and I also got all of my stuff I needed at Lowe's and then I also got a couple things at Walmart as well because Lowe's was out of the lava rock but I found it at Walmart so you can definitely figure out how to do this on your own I just kind of found those uh, longer looking pavers for around the outside I liked how that looked and it just turned out even better than I expected to be honest let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty honey let's just face it you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better And here is the finished product. I actually took this clip a lot later in the day because I wanted you guys to see how shaded our backyard gets. So in the morning before about 8.30, that tree that's above those chairs shades that area. And then in the evening after 6.30, this side of the house shades this area. So it's like the most pleasant place to hang out. And I know we will use it even into the fall and winter since the winters are so mild here in North Carolina. Oh, and by the way, Corey absolutely loved it. Next, I filled my diffuser in the living room and kitchen area. This diffuser is actually really new to me. It's one of my diffusers that I found on Amazon. I get almost all of my diffusers on Amazon, and this one's actually for really large spaces. So I wanted to let you guys know, I've tested it out for a while, and I actually purchased a second one because it worked so well. So if you're looking for a diffuser that really puts out and it does well in large spaces, I highly recommend this one, and I will leave the link below. And these back doors are getting replaced this week I'm so excited we're getting a sliding door and there's moisture between the glass that's why it doesn't look totally clear even whenever I clean it and so it's going to look amazing the window part is bigger on those doors and it's gonna let a lot more natural light in
Next, I scrub the sink out. And to be honest, I feel like I've been simplifying my sink scrubbing routine. <laughs> I just use some Norwex dish soap. And then this is one of their sponges. I love these things, love these things. I actually wanna get two more. They come in packs of two because one side is scrubby. The other side is an Enviro cloth and you throw them in the washer. You don't have to worry about bacteria buildup. You don't have to repurchase. They're just honestly the best thing ever. They work so great on like non-stick pans and stuff like that. And of course they work great to scrub my sink out as well. So we have a friend visiting for this whole next week and he is going to be staying upstairs in our bonus room. We have like a pull out couch up there. So I just vacked the steps down and then I went ahead and went up there and vacuumed everything. It's not something that I do like super regularly, um, but whenever somebody's coming, of course I do it. We just don't use that room a lot, but I've been really contemplating what I want to do with that room. And one thing we do really need because Corey and I both have our own businesses, um, um, is we really need like a desk station where it's like a double desk that we can both be working at it. And so I've been looking into some ideas. Ikea has some really great units that would work well for being up here. But um, yeah, I just have to get it all figured out. And of course I would want to paint up here as well. Does anybody feel like washing your bedding and sheets is like one of the most rewarding things to do in your home? I love the feeling of sliding into clean bedding and sheets at night. It's just so relaxing and feels so good. If I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I never knew you could love someone. today's video inspired you and motivated you if you're new here I'd love it if you subscribed and joined my channel I do lots of DIY type content obviously like cleaning videos and motivational type content also if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching yeah.